So this is the slide of the hazard that may occur due to the climate change. Okay, so you can see on the left side is the wildfire. And then the second uh, picture is a flood. And then the third picture is the drought. Okay, and the fourth, okay, you can see this one is a coconut. Okay, and then you can see this is the storm. So this is related to the typhoon. So this is the four of the uh, major hazard or major natural phenomena that occurs. And most of the time, people relate all this uh, this this event due to the climate change. If now this, if we facing the floods, people we said that floods occur to do to do the climate change. Okay, so basically, that's how it look like. Okay, we are lucky because in nature, okay, uh, we don't facing a lot of the major disaster like other countries. For example, for the wildfire, uh, and also the droughts. Okay, normally we do not face too much. Okay, even though there is a drought, walaupun terjadinya kemarau, but normally kemarau pun berlaku dalam the maximum pun two months lah. Normally one month pun, uh, if the there is a drought occur, okay, that's mean uh, during that month is uh, the rain is not occurs. Okay, you can see our reservoir okay that collect the water okay will be empty so the water crisis will be occur okay for the one month if not gain any water but for the wildfire and so the the storm the typhoon even though the earthquake okay earthquake actually it's not related to the climate change okay but but for the wildfire and the typhoon okay this this two 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 disaster two events normally is not occur in nature. I think last time, maksudnya kejadian uh, hutan terbakar. Okay, normally it's not it's not really happen lah in nature. Okay, last time uh, it's happen in the forest at the Amazon. Okay, and then the second the second happen in Australia uh, Australia during that time there is a very uh, huge of the wildfire that being occur in the very large area in Australia so but for the nature now uh, we will facing this two type of the disaster which is flood and also the uh, droughts so this is the example of the major flood that occur in the worldwide. In this picture, actually, is the event that occur in the Thailand in 2011. Uh, so you can see the water level until this. Sampai tenggelam budak ni. And then you can see this is the impact of the floods. Okay, habis semua kereta kereta Honda. Ah, uh, kereta kereta CV ni Honda CV kan? Ini Honda Jazz. Okay, having submerged with the flood. And then I think during this time also, uh, the area, especially at the north region also, like Belize, Kelantan, also facing the same uh, event, uh, which is uh, the floods. So, people, uh, when this situation, flood occurs, okay, we can say probably this event occur due to climate change. Because the last time this event actually is not is is really not really occur, okay. But now this the flood uh, that occur will have a high intensity, and sometimes it's frequent to happen. All right, this is the example at the Thailand. So from the IPCC, they are mentioned that. Changes in the variability of weather and the frequency of the extreme will be generally have more impact 
then changes in the mean climate at a particular location. That means even though that area facing the floods, okay, but the floods probably more frequent happen with the high intensity. So this is the the impact due to the climate change. Uh, and then for Malaysia, okay, I think the the most tragic that occur flood at 2014. Okay, during that time we call as a banjir kuning. Uh, so you can see at the Sungai Golok, the water level is around 24.77 meter, and the Sungai Lebe is 33.15 meter, and Sungai Galas is 35.59 meter. So it, it is exit from the normal water level. During that time, not Kelantan is that facing the the floods, major of area in Malaysia. Okay, including the east of the peninsula Malaysia like Terengganu, Pahang and then during that time Kota Tinggi, Johor okay, facing the same problem okay, which is a major floods so you can see uh, this is after the flood uh, so this is the signboard and you can see this is the line okay Okay, this line is the watermark from the flood at 2014. Ah, sangat tinggi ni. And then I also uh, do some uh, research on this area. And, and then I think in the early 2021, okay, I go to the Kelantan. Uh, and not, not, not early. At the end of the 2021, I go to the Kelantan for doing some uh, site site visit, and you can see this is uh, this area at the Pasar Besar Kuala Krai, and as you can see at 2014, okay, this is the water level. If I able to draw the line, okay, something this area, uh, so you can see it's a very high of the water level. And it's quite surprised so uh, that that flood occur in this area because the the nearby river actually is a very far and their water level okay from the normal water level at the river and this and this location okay at the pasar besar actually their interval is around three or four meters okay. So you can imagine, uh, berapa besar, berapa tingginya banjir tersebut. Uh, this one, uh, some some image that I post in my Facebook. Okay, so you can see this one is around three feet. Okay, near to four feet. This water level, and I very surprised. You know, as I mentioned before. Uh, between the the water level during at the normal okay to this water level during the these floods at the 2014 uh floods actually it's a very high the differences i think is around four of i think six seven meters okay you can imagine okay and then uh I have uh, interviewed the resident then and then most of the residents said okay this event actually is never occurs okay in their lifetime okay even though pakcik pakcik yang umur 80 90 tahun okay most of them they I mentioned this one is the first time occur so you can imagine how the disaster this this flood is is occur okay and then the the latest one i think at 2021 floods they occur in kuala lumpur selangor negeri sembilan melaka pahang terengganu and perak uh, and then this is some pictures they i grab from the uh, from the facebook okay this one stadium selangor and then this one, 
uh, some area at Seri Petaling Seri Petaling dekat negeri Smi, uh, dekat dekat Shah Alam uh, I'm not sure the name tapi quite popular lah orang kampung kat sini dia saman kerajaan kan because the this event this flight event ok and then you boleh tengok ni makcik ni kesian dia rumah dia dah hilang this one I think dekat uh, area Selangor ni Selangor atau Pohang uh, and then this one some some comment lah from me uh, related to this event ok 2021 flights and then this is the table ok that uh, major flight occurs in Malaysia starting from 1965 to 2014 and you can see ok the a lot of the life have been lost okay due to the these floods okay you can see during uh, the most highest okay occur in 1998 which contribute to 30 peoples having died and then the at 2014 okay banji kuning they occur in Klatan. you can see around 25 peoples would die and the 500 people have been contributed who become their victim to these events okay uh, the source by the Ibrahim Como 2015 uh, okay but the question is did all occur major flood due to the impact of climate change Ah, itu persoalan lah yang ramai orang tanya sebab agak merisaukan jugalah bila berlaku banjir kadang ada setengah pihak nak lepaskan diri ok dia cakap berlaku disebabkan perubahan iklim climate change betul ke tak betul Ah, so kalau le, if you guys tanya saya pun saya agak agak susah nak jawab ok sebab benda ni ok for the information the when the flood is occur ok normally a lot of factors that contribute to this phenomena ok due to the land use ok bila you potong pokok kan pokok untuk balak uh, so most of the time uh, flood pun boleh berlaku and then bila cuaca berubah ok for example ok due to the typhoon etc ok yes the area will facing a heavy rainfall and we also can say that the effect uh, the climate change also contribute to this factor ok tapi kita sebenarnya tak boleh katakan ia 100% due to climate change ok but we as a researcher we we as an engineer ok we need to consider the climate change factors ok when we want to analyze this phenomena ok benda dah berlaku so kita tak boleh blame 100% ok this thing is due to climate change Ah banyaklah apa-apa berlaku banjir kan mesti orang kata ah, ini adalah disebabkan ketentuan Allah ok disebabkan perubahan iklim tak boleh kita kata macam tu ok so a lot of factor that contribute to the major flood so why we need to learn the climate change ok as mentioned in the slide ok future risk and impact caused by climate change actually is amplify existing risk ok amplify existing risk and create new risk for natural and human system as I mentioned before ok banyak banjir berlaku ok and then kadang-kadang banjir tu tak pernah berlaku pun seumur hidup tiba-tiba berlaku ok kemungkinan that is a factor that climate change as effect ok and then uh, risk us are unevenly distributed and generally greater for disadvantaged people 
and community in countries at all level of the development. Okay, so the risk, the risk actually have been facing to those community like the, you know, uh, community dunia kedua lah ya, dan dunia ketiga. Okay, negara-negara yang susah ni. Okay, that's the impact that we need to tackle. And then, continuous high emission will lead to most negative impacts. Okay, now this even though, like, 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 like my example before this. Okay, ramai orang kata banjir ni mungkin disebabkan perubahan iklim. Ada yang mengaitkan ia bukan perubahan iklim. Ia adalah sebab tangan-tangan manusia. Okay, because you deforest the forest. Uh, because you have a deforestation. Okay, tebang pokok, for bala, everything. Benda tu agak betul, okay, dan mungkin tak betul. Tapi all these uh, factors, okay, including climate change, so we need to consider. So bila you tahu climate change boleh menyebabkan uh, banjir, okay. So what we need to do is we need to slow down the rate of the climate change. Okay, scientist, engineer, banyak mengatakan. Okay, bila kita stop eh, uh, now this, okay, benda-benda ni adalah faktor yang menyebabkan uh, banjir. So, pihak policy makers, for example, authorities, okay, industries, they need, need to tackle the problem related with the climate change. Okay, by reducing the pollutant, the air pollutant. Uh, for example, countries like the US, like China, their main activities, their main activities mostly from the industrial. So this country actually contribute a lot of the uh, uh, carbon dioxide emission to the atmosphere. So now this we need to uh, they suppose need to reduce the 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 rate of the pollution. To the atmosphere, at least uh, the the rate of the current climate change okay will be reduced, okay. But this situation is not happen. Walaupun you kata okay ini adalah perubahan clear. Ada yang masih berdegil lagi lah, masih tak berhenti lagi make a policy yang boleh menyebabkan okay peningkatan perubahan clear ni.